Dr. Fred Hatfield is an impressive guy. He's a powerlifting champion, author, millionaire businessman with a beautiful wife. But he'll tell you his greatest accomplishment is killing his cancer, just in the nick of time. The doctors gave me three months to live because of widespread metastatic cancer in my skeletal structure. Three months. Three different doctors told me that same thing. It's a horrible, horrible feeling to have someone tell you that the person that you love only has three months to live and you're not going to be with him anymore. While Fred was preparing to die, he heard about an anti-cancer diet, also known as metabolic therapy. With nothing to lose, he gave it a try and was shocked when it actually worked. And the cancer was gone, completely. To this day, there's no trace of it and it's been over a year. Although it wasn't easy, Fred stopped eating carbohydrates because carbohydrates turn into glucose inside your body. Cancer cells love glucose and need it so badly that if you stop giving it to them, they die. And it just absolutely amazes me that medical science is just now finding this out. Fred's recovery was not a surprise to Dr. Dominic D'Agostino. His team of scientists at the University of South Florida study metabolic therapy. When they removed carbohydrates from the diets of lab mice, the mice survived highly aggressive metastatic cancer, even better than when they were treated with chemotherapy. We have uh, dramatically increased survival uh, with metabolic therapy. So we think it's important to get this information out. And it's not just lab mice. He's also seen similar success in people, lots of them. I've been in uh, correspondence with a number of people, probably at least a dozen people. And uh, over the last year and a half to two years, and uh, all of them are still alive, <laughs> so despite the odds. And uh, so this is very encouraging. All cells, including cancer cells, are fueled by glucose. But if you deprive them of glucose, they switch to the alternate fuel ketone bodies, all except cancer cells. A defect prevents them from making the switch to using ketone bodies as fuel, and therefore cancer cells can only survive on glucose. All other cells can use either glucose or ketone bodies. Your normal cells have the metabolic flexibility to adapt from using glucose to using ketone bodies. But cancer cells lack this metabolic flexibility, so we can exploit that. People like Fred, who deprive their cells of glucose and fuel them with ketone bodies instead, eat what's known as a ketogenic diet. It consists of almost zero carbohydrates, but lots of natural protein and fat. You can go online and there's just cookbooks and, you know, it's not, it's, it's clean eating, just very clean eating. None of the sugars, the salts, the, you know, the, um, the trash food. Natural proteins are ones in their original form, but processed meats like cold cuts and hot dogs are off limits because often carbohydrates have been added to them. Natural fats are in their original form, like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and also coconut oil. But stay away from trans fats, such as shortening or margarine, which are man-made. Some people are afraid to try the ketogenic diet because they think all this fat is bad for their heart. But more doctors are now saying natural fat is actually good for you, even natural saturated fat, like coconut oil and butter. Doctors like cardiologist Stephen Sinatra. Is cholesterol the major cause of heart disease? Absolutely not. In his book, The Great Cholesterol Myth, he says the real cause of heart disease is inflammation, which comes from eating too many carbohydrates. We need to coach our patients and empower them about the dangers of sugar. Unfortunately, they're not hearing that. They're hearing the, the converse, the dangers of fat. Fat is healthy for you as long as you avoid trans fats. So by cutting back on carbohydrates and eating natural fats and proteins, you could improve your heart health and even wipe out cancer. Lori Johnson, CBN News.